Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in JE Advance Paper 2 Physics in the year 2018. In this question, uh, basically this question is from electrostatics and this is based on matrix match type. The question is simple, nothing critical about this and I'm sure that almost all the students would have done this without much problems. So let's see what's happening over here. In this question, we have been given five configurations in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in list 2 and we have to comment whether the electric field due to these five configurations will be dependent upon D or D square or D cube or will be independent of D. Now what is D over here? D is a point that has been taken on the Z axis and its coordinates is 0, 0, 0, D. So basically what we are doing for each configuration that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 independently we will try to find the electric field at point P whose distance is uh, D from the origin and this point P is taken on the Z axis. This is the scenario and we have to comment whether electric field is proportional to D square or 1 by D square or like that those things. Okay. So if you talk about the first configuration point charge kept at origin. So if you see the point charge kept at origin. So let's take this to be Z axis and this to be X axis. Okay, so if the point charge is kept on the uh, this location at the origin. So we know that at this this will be point 0, 0, 0, D. So the electric field is very very simple. It will be KQ by D square, right? So E will be proportional to D square, correct? So we can say that uh, R will match with 1. Okay, so let's write over here. Let's write here. R will match with 1. Okay. Actually, we could have done this with option also. Uh, if we see configuration 4, this configuration, then only one of the options will match. So I'll show you that. But my aim here is to solve the question completely. Okay. Now, let's go to the uh, option 2 or configuration 2. A small dipole with point charges 0, 0, L uh, and minus Q at 0, 0, minus L. 2L is much much less than D. That means, let's see what's the scenario. Let's say that this is the axis. This is the x axis. So here 0, 0, L. So this is 0, 0, L. And here plus Q charge is kept. And this is minus L. And here minus Q charge is kept. And we have to find the dipole or electric field at point P, which is at a distance D. This is 0, 0, D. Right. So we can understand that this will be the dipole moment and the dipole uh, moment is like this and the electric field at this point. So this point will become axial point for this dipole, right? And the formula for the electric field at an axial point for a dipole is 2 kp by rq. So this will be 2 into k into p. p will be dipole moment which will be nothing but q into 2l. 2 kp by r cube. r will be this distance which is nothing but d cube. So we can say that electric field is proportional to 1 by d cube. Very simple question. So, 2 matches with S. Okay. So, or we can say S goes with 2. Right. So now, if you talk about infinite line charge coincident with X axis with uniform linear charge density lambda. So, what's the scenario? If this is the X axis, so we have infinite line charge like this. Okay. So let's say this is the line charge coincident with x-axis. Okay, and we have to find the electric field at this point. Okay, which is 0, 0, D. Right? So we can say that electric field at this point will be in the radially outwards direction. And if we are assuming this to be positive, and electric field will be 2k lambda by D. Hence, we can say that electric field is proportional to 1 upon D. So very, very easy. Again, you can see. So option 3 matches with Q. So Q goes with option 3. Right? Two infinite wires carrying uniformly linear charge density parallel to X axis. The one along Y equals to 0, Z equals to L has a charge density plus lambda and the one along Y equals to 0 and Z equals to minus L has a charge density minus lambda. Okay? So what is the scenario? If we say that this is the z axis, this is the x axis. Okay, so we can say that one is along 
both the wires are parallel to x axis and since y is 0 so they must be in x z plane and one is lying along 0 comma 0 comma l so like this okay and so this is infinite wire so this distance is l right and this distance is again l and this is negatively charged in my opinion uh yeah so this has got plus charge density lambda and this is minus charge density minus lambda so we have to find the electric field at this point p which is 0 comma 0 comma d so again we can write the electric field due to positive charge which will be 2k lambda upon this distance you can see this distance which is d minus l okay this electric field will be in the positive direction due to this wire we can say electric field will be in negative direction okay uh, that is towards the left direction and will be of the magnitude 2k lambda upon this distance d plus l right so if you solve this what do we get 2k lambda can be taken as common so this will be d plus l minus d plus l upon d square minus l square so this will become uh, d and d will cancel out 2l so 4k lambda l upon d square because it's given that d is much much greater than l so if d is much much greater than l so we can say that electric field is proportional to d square 1 by d square sorry okay so if you see option 4 so r matches with 4 so basically r matches with 4 as well Fifth is fairly simple, infinite charge coincident with the xy plane. So you can assume that xy plane is infinitely charged with a uniform surface charge density. So here electric field will be independent of distance because we know that for infinite charge sheet, electric field is sigma point to epsilon naught and hence it's, it does not depend upon the location of the point. We can assume it to be constant. So it will be independent of D. So P will match with 5. P will match with 5. So if you go back to option, you can see that only this option matches. P is going with 5, Q is going with 3, which is what we found. R is going with 1, 4 and S is going with 2. Okay. Now, if you realize one thing that 4 is like he, in the option B, 4 is going with R. In none of the other options, 4 is going with R. Okay. So in the exam, you could have just solved op option number 4 and you would have found the correct. You were not required to solve 1, 2, 3 and 5. Right. So I hope you would have understood and appreciated the solution. That's it. Thank you.